My friends, my name is Sumit Chatterjee from the Flow Zone Academy. Let's talk about impatience. Let's talk about personal growth. You already know what it is, baby. Yeah. I'm inspired. Yeah. I'm inspired. So what are you really saying with your impatience, man? Today I felt so impatient. I was like, oh, I'm so busy. I don't have enough time. And that, that's what you start saying to yourself, right? You start saying things like, I don't have enough time, man. I just don't have enough time. It's not that you don't have enough time. It's the fact that you got to lock in that time. You got to create that time in order for you to heal, in order for you to breathe, in order for you to take it easy. You see, patience in the survival value. Someone who's level-headed, someone who's calm, someone who's patient, someone who can handle life, whatever life throws at you, you're like, all right, sure, try me, try me, my turn, okay, let's go, okay, that's a little flea, I eat problems like that for breakfast, let's go, okay, nothing can stop me, baby, that's the mindset that you want to incorporate if you want that patience. A little bit of that ferocity and that grit is going to help you. It's going to go a really long way. All right. A lot of us get sidetracked. We just get sidetracked. You know? We have one mission in mind and then we try to push it away because we don't get the, the affirmation or encouragement anymore. The world just kind of shuns us and pushes us down. Like, yeah, but no, you can't really do that. Or, do you really think that's feasible? You know, oh, do you think that's that's gonna be really possible for you though? It's like other people's insecurities, right? That they're just kind of like throwing on to you. And you're going, this has nothing to do with me. But you still subconsciously you soak it in because you're you're supposedly a good person and, and you should be doing that. You should be listening to your partner, you should be listening to the teachers. They're the authority, right? Oh, they know what's best. But as a child, we were conditioned to listen to authority and never question authority. I was taught never to question authority, my friends. Right? I had corporal punishment in India when I was super, super young. They hit me with a ruler on my wrist. You think I don't remember that trauma? You don't think that trauma has affected my life in some way? On how women are controlling? Because there's a woman teacher, right? Also, they told me to dress up like a girl, man. They taught me to dress up like a girl. And in that moment, I felt such a humiliation towards my feminine at that time. But then I went too much into my feminine and I stopped accessing the activity throughout my beingness. But it comes from these little mini traumas, man, that stack over our lives. And we start to ask ourselves, man, I didn't even deserve that. That just happened to me. Of course, there is such thing as post-traumatic growth. Of course there is. And those are the true alchemists. Those are the people who turn that pain into power. Who turn that trauma into triumph. By actually leaning in and, and doing the inner work. And getting it sorted. But you can't do the inner work and the shadow work if you don't feel good about who you are already. That's why you need to start with a foundation of self-love. And, and just loving yourself unconditionally. Like whatever happens, man. If I become a beggar, a criminal, a, a joke, a broke, a, you know, someone with weird, loose morals, I still gotta love myself. Because guess what? I chose those circumstances. And some of those circumstances, maybe they're a smear campaign against me and they're not even the truth of what's happening. You see what I'm saying, man? So the love for yourself, man, that's gotta override everything. Every single thing. It starts by changing the self-love you have for yourself and then you'll realize other people start loving you too. That that self-love becomes contagious, right? We think COVID is contagious, bro. Self-love is contagious. We know we need it now more than ever, right? A narcissism is like an empty shell. You're still doing it to get love. You're not actually emanating love when you're narcissistic, right? You're like, I'm doing this for the self-love rather than feeling the self-love already and just being unattached to the outcome and just being you know, free and open and abundant and willing to make mistakes on this journey and just, you know, riding the wave of it. Man, I had one of my clients yesterday and he was saying, oh, I made this mistake, that mistake, this other mistake, and you must be thinking that my name is Mr. Mistake, you know? <laughs> Mr. Tape. I thought that was really funny because he was able to add humor 
into the mix. For the fact that he was talking to me by all the mistakes that he made, it's time that he incorporates and engages those mistakes and integrates them, consolidates them, right? We have a consolidation phase in the flow state where we reflect, where we go, hey, that was a really cool event, or that was a really cool memory. Do you have moments where you reflect on all those good times, man? You're like, wow, I really did that? I really did that thing? That's wild, man. Like, I've had some crazy wild stories, man. I can't, some of them are R-rated. I can't even share them on here. But I've had some wild stories, man. And they wouldn't have happened if I had just been in my head and just kind of been, you know, stuck in my own mind and brain and not living through. It's like, you've got to allow yourself to be spontaneous, man. Spontaneity is such a gift, but it's not a dangerous, like, like a whimsical fairy spontaneity or like a fret boy spontaneity of let me jump off this roof into the into the you know uh swimming pool below it's, it's like not that man that's a stupid risk that's not a heroic risk the true heroes know what is the difference between a heroic risk and a stupid risk you gotta have a high intelligence in this game man when you're a flow state jedi you're tapped into a higher intelligence you understand that the intelligence isn't some iq test or some kind of musical compatibility test or whatever you're doing online. It's not based on any quizzes. It's not based on any questionnaires, man. The true intelligence is knowledge and action, which is therefore wisdom. Wisdom of many years. So, you know, you might be stressing out uh, getting older. I'm getting older, you know. I had this concept from my mom. You know, she said, every year you're getting older, just tell yourself life begins at that age. So if you're 20, you say life begins at 20. If you're 30, you say life begins at 30. You know, if you're 40, you say life begins at 40. It's this fun journey because you're like resetting the adventure timeline on the video game, right? I love that mindset. That's a great mindset too. You know, I get a lot from my parents too when they teach me these things, but I also teach them, you know, because they see the value in me too and they believe in me, just like I believe in you. You know, you wouldn't be on this channel if you didn't believe in me and I didn't believe in you. So it is an interdependence through these videos. You know what I mean? It's like I encourage you, you encourage me. Maybe I'm uh, subscribed to your channel as well. You know, this is how we do it. This is the Upward Spiral Gang. And it's such a momentum that's so infectious, baby. Like you can feel my energy right now, right? Out of this video screen, you're like, holy smoke, Suma's got it today. Well, that's because I'm serving. I'm in service mode. I'm in giving mode. I'm not closed off with my energy. I see too many people suffering right now and I gotta do something about it. That's why I get this energy. That's why I got this momentum in me. You know what I mean? That's why I'm flowing, flowing, man. I don't even care who's out there, man. You guys can listen, all of you can listen. Hey, you, bro, you hear me? You can listen too. Okay. Well, I'm tapped in today. I'm doing a 30 day challenge with Jamal and uh, Elias as well. They, they're doing a 30 day workout challenge. Man, when people challenge me, bro, I'm like, bring it on, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm going to tap in. I mean, my boxing instructor online, he, he said that you know, I got to work out every day anyway. So when you find yourself complaining, just start explaining. This is a very powerful concept, right? When you feel like you want to complain about something, this is how men complain. This is how men should complain. You say, yo, bro, I need to vent about something to you, bro. Yo, this happened, this happened, this happened. But I have this solution for it and I'm gonna make it happen in these two weeks. That's what. That's how you should be complaining. Not like, ah, eh, this girl did this to me. And, oh, I did that. That's not, that's like, oh man, that's like a dark feminine energy, bro. That's like a dark feminine energy, man. You can't be stuck in that complaining mode. You can't, man. Even you women out there, you, you know you can't be stuck in that. Okay, you and your girlfriends complaining and gossiping with each other all the time? Yo, yo, give me a break from... I know some of you, chicas, you're smart about this. You're like, I am not into that. <laughs> Sign me out of that. Like, get me out of that group chat, okay? And that's smart. That's smart. You can't have other people just like adding all this toxicity into your mind. You got to discern. You got to discern what is right for me, what's real for me. And let me be patient with this journey. Let me be patient with you because every single day, in every single way, something shifts inside of me. 
something gets a little bit better. I notice, I see my face certain days, bro. And I look at myself and I'm like, God damn, I got more beautiful today. You know what I mean? That's that energy, bro. That's that extreme self-love energy. You just gotta emanate your beingness, man. This is what people wanna hear. This is what people wanna see. And all the people that get triggered by this kind of content, man, you gotta do some of that healing work, okay? You gotta do some of that shadow work because clearly I'm your golden shadow. I'm out here doing these videos daily and you're like, you can't even, you haven't even put a video up anytime. You know what I mean? So it's like, you guys see me and I'm just a projection of your shadow in some way. And I'm coming across, you might see this blonde hair and all these guys in a suit and he wears these beads and all this kind of stuff. But you're seeing the superficial, my friends. Have you gotten to know me? Have you done a session with me? Do you know what this vibe is about, baby? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 okay? The vibration is up, the vibration is strong. Don't ever doubt yourself again. Let's get it. Upward spiral gang, may we never be the same again. May the flow be with you and stay legendary. Let's get it. Boom.